Hello everybody, it's uh, also Money Life once again. Uh, making a new tutorial video since the last one uh, was crazy popping off with the uh, NVE installation tutorial. Um, so today I'm here with a new tutorial um, to install Reshade. So uh, the new 5M update um, a while ago um, changed how to install Reshade completely. So uh, here's a video on how to install it correctly. So uh, we're going to start off with the website, which is reshade.me. Um, so you're going to come here. Uh, I'm going to link everything in the description so you guys have uh, easier access to it. Um, so when you get to the website, you're going to see this page, uh, this beautiful page of reshade. So what you're going to do is literally just hit the download button and you're going to download reshade 5.8. And then uh, once you're done with that, you can literally just close this and you can go to your desktop. Once you get your desktop, uh, you go to your downloads and then you're going to see the reshade. Um, so before we go there, <clears throat> we're going to minimize this. Um, we're going to go to the 5M, your 5M directory. So there's a bunch of ways to get there. Uh, I'll show you a couple right now. So um, what you can do is uh, if you're on Windows 11, but if you... Uh, if you're not, uh, just open up a new file explorer. And then if you go up here, you just put in percent app data, percent, and then you can go up here again and hit app data, and then go to local, the local folder. And then you can go down to F to find an application. Uh, if you don't want to go that way, uh, there's an easier way. What you can do is you can press your Windows and R muscle, uh, key, and you can put in app data, which does the same exact thing, except in a faster way. So then you can go to local and then go down to 5M and then boom, you're here. <clears throat> once you do that, uh, we don't have to worry about this right now. So once you do that, you're going to open up your reshade setup.exe and you're going to see all this menu. So uh, what you're going to do is uh, look for GTA 5. Um, if you don't see it on here, uh, you can hit the browse button. Uh, mine already directly goes to GTA 5 itself. Um, <clears throat> try to put it in the directory of GTA 5 that you're using with your 5M. So you can just press the GTA 5 DXC and then hit next. Uh, make sure it's on DirectX 10, 11, 12 um, because that's what you're, that's what uh, GTA 5 uses. Uh, hit next. Um, if it does this, hit uninstall. And then go back to the uh, reshade again. And then go to browse again. And then click the GTA 5 DXC. And then just go through this process once again. <clears throat> but this time it's going to go here. So when you get here, you're just going to uncheck and check all at the top, right? Hit next. Let it download its thing. And then it's going to be successfully installed. So what you're going to do then is just going to hit finish. Um, you don't need this anymore, so you can just do that. So now what you're going to do over here, um, you can have your file application data up. You can go to where you put that file at. So for me, it's Rockstar Games. So you would, if you're going to Rockstar, you just go to Program Files and then go down to Rockstar Games and then GTA 5. Um, and then in here, there is going to be the reshade stuff. So. What you're going to do on your 5M application data, go to your plugins folder. Uh, if you use Quant V or if you use ENB, you're going to have to throw any missions. But so for a reshade, what you're going to need from the GT5 folder once you install it um, to your GT5 is you're going to need the reshade dash shader folder. That's number one. Number two, you're going to need the DXG dot DLL folder. I mean, uh, file you're going to keep coming down um, until you see some other reshade stuff like this right here so the reshade ini the reshade dot log and the reshade preset ini drag it over to your plugins folder and then that is it for the reshade <clears throat> and then after that you can close your detail high directory once you close all that um, so then you should have these folders in here and this files so you get the reshade preset ini the log uh the ini make sure you get the dxgi dll and then also make sure you get the reshade dash shaders and make sure there's stuff in them um 
Once you do that, you can now close this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open your file and up. <clears throat> Once you do this, don't be worried if you don't see a free shade thing. So first what you're going to look for is if, if it doesn't pop up, either press your F8 key. And if there's an error from reshade, um, like I think you just saw it a few seconds ago, uh, right here. <clears throat> So uh, for me, it's telling me that my uh, GUI is on. So we have to turn it off. But uh, sometimes it tells you if there, uh, if there if there's an error reshade, and it will tell you to go to your citizen citizen citizens FX uh, INI, and then it'll it will tell it will show you the steps. Um, but uh, for me, it is. Uh, so what you do if you don't see it. Uh, make sure you go to your top right to settings, go to your game, and then make sure this is off. Um, for it to go through, you have to turn this off. Uh, exit the desktop. Uh, wait a five, like wait a few seconds. Open your items again, and then uh, you will reshade. Um, it works completely the same as it was before. The only thing that's different is. We have to unfortunately turn off the um, the the UI um, lag. So if you stream, I'm um, sorry, but there's uh, there's no other way around this at the moment. Um, so just make sure you have this off, and then uh, you're gonna press your home muscle. You can skip this um, if you want to. You can switch the switch the key to whatever key you want, and then you can do all that um for easier access if you wanted to um if you go back to uh bottom folder so uh if you if you're doing presets with reshade uh what i recommend um is i actually recommend um making a folder inside of your plugins folder named preset or presets however you want to call it um so when you open it you'll see every single ini for presets in here um i do this so it's more organized for me um personally i liked it better than just throwing them all in here because you have all this stuff in here already so um when you're in when you're in 5m you just open that pre the preset folder up um here, i'll show you so when you're like right here you go to this and then when you're here you i uh, see all this mess but instead of seeing all this the presets here you just go into the preset folder and then you pick one from here um, it makes it easier for me. Uh, that's what I recommend. But, um, yeah. Um, I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me, uh, or either also join my Truth Presets Discord server. Uh, we have, um, a ticket system over there so you guys can, uh, to reach out to my support team or either me personally. Um, and we will 100% help you. Uh, we will, uh, try our best um if you need help with nve go to growth street families um i will try to put that in the description as well so you guys have access to that uh, that's the official nve discord so uh, they also have a support team over there which is very helpful but um i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um i also hope hope it helps you out um i know the reshade stuff is very confusing but like i said if you have any questions dm me anything um all the download links will be in the description um so you guys have ac access to that and then um hope you guys have the rest uh hope you guys have a good rest of your day and uh peace out everybody